arise, O African youth. It's with sadness and tears I speak to you. They call us the future leaders yet destroy our future. They say our proportion in the population is the highest, yet they expect our voices to be the quietest. We ain't like them in their days when they would have taken up the country in a coup. We stand for peace because we know what it means. Arise, O African youth, and see what is going on in your land. The leaders don't care about our education, our health, or our rights. All they care about is how to win the next elections. They work with us for the elections, but afterwards they fly away with their victories. They demand for our terms, and afterwards they give us their middle fingers in return. They give us guns to fight, but no job do they provide. They promise us the future, yet they eat it up on the daily. They turn us, as, they turn us against each other and shout Black Lives Matter, yet backstage they are urging the black man to kill his brother. When a poor youth out of hunger steals a goat, he is put behind the bars for years uncountable. But when a politician who enjoys all the allowances you can name on the planet steals a billion cities, he is left untouched. Don't think they care so much about you. They are only protecting their age mates and their selfish interest. Nigerian youth are crying and SARS. Congo is bleeding. All because the youth are able to survive the conditions that they supply and they are living better lives. It is no longer NSAS, it is an Nigerian government. It has stopped the African selfish old man from looting from within. When Trump is sick, they all shout, get well soon, Mr. Trump. But when African youth are dying, all they can do is silence. African Union is silent. ECOWAS is quiet. When the youth of Mali took over the country in a coup just this year, all they did, what they did was to organize a committee that sat down in a meeting in Ghana to call for a stop. But when the youth are not dying and they are crying out, all they can do is to keep quiet. We are tired of it, but all we can do is to rise and stand for the peace we need. All we can do is to stand and fight for the future. Because if we don't fight for the future, there will be no future to lead. They're borrowing on the daily from the Europeans and the Americans just to come and fill their empty just to come and fill their selfish stomachs. Say no to selfish leaders. African youth arise. It is now or never. And selfish leaders. Arise, O African youth. My name is Joy Abzo. And I stand for the African youth. Thank you.